Hey, it's Todd Harrison reporting for Hackaday in downtown Chicago, uh, uh, 401 Michigan North, just off the lake. Uh, GE is partnering with uh, Chicago Idea Week. They're calling it the GE uh, Garage, and they're going to let people play with for the whole month. Uh, it's on October 28th. Uh, all types of the newest technology and gear that they have available down in that corner right over there. So let's go in and take a look at what they got for the community to use. What we're looking at here is a, a MakerBot Replicator 2 3D printer. It's an FDM printer. It's a filament deposition. deposition. So essentially it is, uh, there's a spool of PLA on the back, which is polylactic acid, and it's running it through an extruder head, and it's building three-dimensionally an object um, up on the bed. So earlier I have an Arduino with a uh, joystick um, daughter card and I wanted to print a case for it so just to, to give an idea you know this is something you can do. We came up with this very quickly to print a case for this. Um, cool. Essentially right now if people have ideas or they have STL files we can print out stuff for them. Um, we're not, we're not going to be doing any manufacturing for anybody. Um, but again, showing what is available to the consumer. This, you know, GE has equipment. This is a 3D printed piece. That's a, that's a... Yeah, and that is, and that is. I'm not sure if it's stainless steel or yeah, that's what, some, what type that's it is. That's some crazy stuff there, yeah. Right. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a different technology, but the, the ability to be able to actually 3D print a design that would not necessarily have been able to be manufactured. And they, you printed this too? We printed that here on one of these, yeah. On which did you print it on? One of the one of the maker. One of the maker replicators? Yeah, one of the replicators. Oh, oh the kid, that's just that's just uh, that's just amazing. We've uh, partnered with Inventables, and they have uh, built a, essentially a large format Shapeco for yeah. us. They're normally these are about a quarter of this size. So what we have been cutting out, I know it's a disaster right now, is we were cutting out skateboards and testing them. Just to- How'd they hold up with the, with the lamination? It did well. This one was, I want to say this has a lot of flex to it. So we went to a, a five eight or a three quarter on that one. And then we got a different type of wood, which we had tried out last night, but we haven't mounted trucks to it yet. Uh, down here we also have a 60 watt laser cutter. So with this, you can cut or etch plastic, wood, uh, glass. You can do anodized or powder coated metals. Things that we've been cutting out, one of the guys did a mask, like a Peppercudo mask. Oh, yeah. And he actually sized it up a little bit too big for his head. So he just etched it with the laser and then, and yeah. then folded it. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's one of the, the ideas. We also, you can run through, um, Autodesk has a piece of software called 123D. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I've heard that one. Right, so 123dapp.com yeah. is amazing software. It not only will let you design, build, three-dimensional, it's all free, dimensional, uh, three-dimensional objects. You can then run it through a, uh, a make program to do slicing. You can run it through a CNC program to actually create G-code to cut it on a CNC machine. Um, all of that is free. You know, we're, we're trying to, to get innovation into everybody's hands. We also have Jesha Boulder, which is off right now. So, let's see you how. Just, you pour your Star Starbucks cut beads in it and then, and then start printing stuff like this? Exactly. So, okay. I mean, that's a little bit. That's a little bit burned up. This, this is what the, the essentially come out to be. And it's a little frisbee. We just made it very quickly a little frisbee disc. It's really hard too, and it's very smooth. Yeah. Other things that we've done on site as far as you know projects is we we're doing uh, little iPhone speakers. So you clip it on the bottom of your iPhone. An iPhone speaker. And, oh. and, uh, this was the mold for that. So when it Okay, I get it. Too bad I can't I can stick it on my iPhone, but I'm not going to right now. Uh, we got a bucket of those. Yeah, we do. Those can those run really fast. And we also were doing spatulas and little robots. And you, how would you cut this out? The machine behind us? Correct. Right, okay. And then you injection mold with this guy. So just a couple of pieces of gear, right. and you're injection molding. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much right away. You, I mean, that's that's amazing, especially when you can stick that right on your, right on a product right away. Right. 
Cool. Okay. Go. The, the, well, yeah, the, the next tech shop location is going to be in Chandler, Arizona. Uh, opening, I want to say the open date's November 23rd, 22nd. Okay. Somewhere right around there. Okay. Well, we'll look for you there because that's where I'm from. Okay. Good. See you again. <laughs>